I love talking about this because that one night, I can honestly say, was one of the highlights of my entire career. I get chills just thinking about it, and I'll try to tell you why. You have to go back to 1921, when Howard Thurston said to Horace Golden, I'll give you $1,000 for the rights, and in my workshop, we'll build two new props that are beautiful, and you'll have a new one. Well, the guy that Thurston hired to work in his workshop was a young Harry Jansen, who was already a great magician. He had already toured the world once with an illusion show. So he was an experienced builder and was very familiar with illusion design. And then when he became Dante and he went out around the world and he performed this trick for the rest of his career, his long career, he lived until 1955. About three times during his career, he rebuilt this trick using all of the new technology or the new subtleties that he had figured out. And each version was better and better. And the third version that he built, I would say, was an absolute masterpiece of deception and construction. When Dante retired, he bought a ranch in Southern California where I live. Uh, I never knew him because he died when I was just a little tiny kid. But his son, Al Jansen, still lived at the ranch when I was a teenager. And Dante's show was still stored out there. A person that I knew, his name was John Daniel, a wonderful, wonderful illusionist. And John, who was quite a bit older than me, he was very good friends with Al Jansen, Dante's son. And John bought all kinds of stuff, photographs and things from Al, from Dante's career, including that third Sawing a Lady in Half box. And one day he said, you should, you want to buy this? And I said, yes, I do. And so I bought this Dante prop, brought it home, put it in my basement. Now, back, way back, like in the 1930s, when Dante was touring Australia, he needed a new assistant. And he remembered a, a girl in a show that was across the street from his show. She was a dancer, and her name was Moyo Miller. And he said, how would you like to go with the, my magic show? And she said, yes. Well, Moyo Miller didn't just become his assistant. She became his co-star. And in every poster of the day, there was a picture of Dante and a picture of Moyo. And she then toured the world with Dante right up till the end of his career. She estimated, I think it was, she had been sawn in half 11,800 times. I don't know who was keeping score, but Moyo always told me that because I knew Moyo, a wonderful, wonderful lady. And when you hear about people saying, this person has the it factor, or this person, you know, walks into a room and lights up the room. I haven't known many people like that, but Moyo was one of them. And her husband, amazingly, Arturo Montez, was also an assistant on the Dante show. Arturo was the one who largely built this Song a Lady in Half illusion that I now own. So when they came over once to visit, we went down in the basement and I wanted them to see it. They hadn't seen this trick in decades. Moyo was in her late 70s at this point. And I can't believe I said this, but I did. And I said, Moyo, do you think you could still do this trick? But before I could say anything else, she kicked her shoes off. She hopped up on this table, crawled into the box, laid down, and she said, yeah, I don't think it would be a problem. I said, okay, here's what's going to happen. I said, we do a magic history conference every other year. At the next one, I want to saw you in half in the old box that you used to do it in with Dante. And I want Arturo to be on the other end of the saw. They thought this was a great idea. So at that year's conference, I did a little talk about the history of the sawing trick and said, and now we've got a little treat for everybody. And the curtain opened and there's Dante's beautiful prop on the stage. Now, again, for this conference is, is for magic historians. They, everybody in this audience, they know the story of Dante. They know the basic history of Sawing a Lady in Half. And they know that Moyo Miller is a rock star in the magic world. And when Moyo walked out on the stage, basically Arturo and I became invisible because here is this iridescent lady recreating this role that she had done 11,800 times. And Arturo and I sawed her in half. And it was, it was thrilling. And here's the interesting thing. I love this story. David Copperfield used to come to my house and he would see this prop and he would say, you got to sell me this prop. 
And I used to say, David, you don't have enough money to buy this prop. That drove him crazy because he has enough money to buy anything on earth. And then I sawed Moyo in half. And I thought, what am I going to ever do with this prop that tops that night? It's impossible. I have gone to the top of the mountain with this thing. And I called David and said, hey, you want this trick? You can't buy it, but you can trade me for it. So we did a great trade. And now that Dante sawing a lady in half has a prominent place in David's museum. Instead of sitting in my basement where nobody sees it, it looks fantastic. And right next to it is Moyo's costume that she wore doing this trick. And it's in, it's in the right place.